Greetings, family. Greetings to every one of us. Hope we are all doing great today. A wonderful day. A glorious day. A fruitful day. A covenant day. On this day, always, ever, all glory ascend above. All worship overflow right at the feet of Abbe Yehuwah that brought us eternal good news. And all service lives eternally right at the horns of the altar of Abbe Yehuwah. Yes, he deserves it. All belong unto him. He holds it. Rebo Shandalaba. I worship you, Abba. Rebobobosi Kayaba. Yes, you alone deserve to be worshipped. That is who you are. And your food is worship. Rebobobosi Kayaba. I worship you. Yes, he mahantalabe. He ma send the labo. Rebosi Kayaba. Re mahantalabo si Kayaba. Yes, I worship you. I worship you, Ribosi Kayabao, Yahuwah, Ribosi Kayabao. I worship you, Ribosi Kayabao. I worship you. Yes, Abihua, right at the feet, the eternal blessed feet, Ribo Shandalaba of you. There I do my service. Love you, Abba. I love you. Rebobo si kayabu sendelebo. Thank you, Abbe Yahuwah, for giving us your word. Thank you, Abbe Yahuwah, for giving us your set up our spirit. The Ruah Hakodesh, our eternal teacher. I love you, my Abba. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. Ha, Rebo si kayabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Horrible Sikayaba. Thank you, Abeywa, for giving us your wealth. King Yahushua Hamashiach, our eternal food. Mm, we want to eat again. Hallelujah. We want to feed our spirit, our soul, our body again with the eternal, yes, blessed word of Abe Yahua. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, family, mm -hmm. here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yahuwah with this powerful message titled for you and me. John Cicely says, E.T. at Jezebel's table must produce that miracle money angel by the authority of heaven. You must produce because you are eating food right at Jezebel's table. But for that reason, you must produce that angel, sir. Those angels, or that angel. But we saw two angels. We saw two. Nelson, Ademia Nelson, is that angel. But we don't have any angel called by that name. We don't have any angel in the royal law. Genesis, we done to Revelation. We don't have such Name called uh, Nelson. Mm -mm. I don't have it. And uh, the other one was uh, Dalitin Beauty. <laughs> Again, we don't have such name. No angel called by such name. Okay. So, you must produce us that angel. We want to see that angel. If you give us that angel, if you produce those angels unto us, this matter will be off, <laughs> will be quenched. I want to be someone today. I want to slap someone right now. I want to beat someone today. I want to slap someone right now. With the truth, with the truth, with the truth of Abaya. With the truth of Abaya. With the truth. Of Abaya, <laughs> I wanna slap you with the truth of Yahuwah. Abba Yahuwah, I wanna beat you with this truth. 
All right, love family, let's get started. Let's walk with the title. Justice Lee says, eating at Jezebel's table must produce that miracle money angel by the authority of heaven. You can't just come and pour you know, <laughs> this does be or garbage up on people and you go have your peace or sit. Nah, 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 nah. So let's walk with this title. Quickly, because I would like to share this vision. Those I saw it long time ago. Did you see this? What what date is this? Did you get that? On the tenth of June, twenty seventeen, and narrated this vision over here in this message. How I saw Justice Lee says arrested people through his wicked miracles. Did you get that? You see the date? I will narrate it. A guy shared it already on my Facebook, but I will narrate it over here. Okay, again, so you see the date, 10th of June, 2017, vision is already here, I want to try my papa, there's the message, okay, here is it here, this is the message, let me prove it again, you see, 2017, the vision is here, I don't know if, let me see if I will be able to play from there. <laughs> This vision it has to do with about Suleiman. <laughs> and in this graveyard, it was a fact. The whole world, it was, it was just the whole world. We are all in the graveyard. That is why okay. we are crying for our Messiah to come to come and Can I pick it up from here? I want to narrate this it. The okay. whole world. The yes. whole world turned to grave. Okay. I was just there. We all are. And the light is strongly is fighting hard to come out. Can I pick it from here? <laughs> they put the separate men in one place and the separate women in, in oh, the other place. Abba. Yeah, why so awesome? The women, uncountable. It's this, it is the whole world we are talking about. That's it. That in this vision, I was fighting so hard to come out. Because it's in the grave. I said, how can I be laying, sleeping in the grave? No, I want to go home. I was fighting so hard, okay. so, so seriously. Okay, let me pick it from here, okay? So you heard. Let me quickly narrate the vision. This vision was very long ago. But I, I just brief it over here also. I would also like, like to brief it over here. Hmm? Now, I was in this vision like you heard already from my previous video. That was about four years ago. It's going to five years now, anyway. So, the whole world turned, you know, graveyard. They put men in one side and they also put women in the other side. And everyone were laying in the grave. Not just that we were all in the grave. They also changed everyone. And that comes to mind, uh, Mark chapter 5, that man that was, you know, living in the tomb, also chained, okay, that scripture came to my mind. Now, we were all there, the lights were few, and we refused to settle, we refused, you know, to comply, we refused to relax, we refused to just, you know, make that our home. We are so troubling, you know, we are groaning. I was just like a rolling liar. I said, no, I can't make a grave my home. Yeah, it's not my home. I want to go home. I was just rolling like a rolling lion. Okay. Now, afterwards, the chains break, bro uh, broke off me. Then I keep, I run out of that grave yet. I just run out. I just want to brief it, okay. Uh, as I run for my life. And this time, I don't even remember if I have children, brother, sisters, family. No, I run for my own life. And that is to say, salvation is personal. So when I got to it, I, I, already I succeed in coming out from that graveyard, okay, because the chains, the shackle was broken. Therefore, I now found myself, and I saw a very straight way. Straight way. Very straight way. In this vision, I call it the DNA of a Yahweh. That road was so straight. So when I came out from that graveyard, before I entered that straightway, I stood on my, I stood and I turned back. I didn't see nobody. But when I was running, I thought my children was also running after me, brother, sister, family, friends, or whatever. But little did I know, no one come after me, but just me alone came out from that graveyard. Oh no, when I turned back, I didn't see nobody. I said, Oh, where is my children? Then I heard a voice said, 
intercede for them. Pray for them. Therefore, and I begin to pray in that vision. While I was praying, I heard the shackle broken, the chains also broken of them. But I didn't see them. But I, I hear, I was, you know, I heard it. Okay. Now, when the chains and the shackle broke of them, I said to them also, very horrified, stood before me. I said, what am I doing? They said they want to call me police. Ah, when I heard that police matter, I was a bit afraid. I said, if this police come now, they're going to you know, bring me back to that graveyard. I said, no. Then I started running. With that, when I heard that police, I just ran right away to that. Uh, I entered that straight way. I began to run. Because I don't want them to break me there. Ah, they, these two demons was running so hard after me. Oh, no. When I saw, you know, see the way they were running after me, then I stood. That, that, way, that comes to mind, boldness. Let me call it the spirit of boldness that came into me. Then I stood. Ah, ah, you have been crying after me. You want to call me the, I said, now, call me the police. Call me the police. I said, that police, I myself, I'm also going to get that police arrested. They said, yes, the police will come. I said, no, I have documents. I, before you know, I bring out my document in that vision. I said, I have document. Go and call me that police. I myself, I will arrest that police by myself. Then I stood. I, I, why am I running away from demo? What kind of nonsense is that? I stood on my face. I said, now, call me that police. I myself will get that police arrested. Oh, no. Who oh, were the police? Indeed, they want to go and call me a police. Who were? Who was the police? It was Jossie Suleiman. When I see, when I saw Jossie Suleiman, I burst into laugh. I said, this one is the police. I said, bring it to me, me myself. I'm going to get him arrested because Jossie Suleiman don't have no document. It's illegal. He has no document. I bring out, I was so proud with my own document in that vision. I said, Jossie Suleiman, bring out your, you don't have. Now, I'm going to get you arrested by myself. And I begin to mock him. I mock Joseph Lema. I mock the two demons. Where they now see the way I begin to ridicule Joseph Lema, make it full of him. Oh no, the two demons were so outrageous. And John power together to descend on me. Ah, when I see the water descend on me, before you knew it, I by a while blow off my two legs. I ascend up to the clouds. And guess what? As I was as, as I was ascending, these two demons that draw forces together also as, ascend along. They were also ascending. Oh no, it was horrible. After me. Then I kept ascending. They, they, you know, they also you know, keep you know, following me. Uh-huh. So where were their power? Where could their ascension? Or where did they, where, where did they go stuck? Iroko tree. They could not by enemies pass Uroko tree. He said that is where their power stopped. They hung on the tree. I was on the cloud. And I on the cloud. I began to ridicule the two demo plus Justice Solaces. And I mocked Justice Solaces. In fact, I tore him into pieces in that vision with my mouth, with the truth. Okay. Now, what was the truth? What was the document Justice Solaces was not having? The Roa HaKodesh now minister into my heart that the truth, he don't have the truth. That is the document he, he don't have. And I said, I have document. I bring out my own. I was so proud with mine. I brought it out. John Slim away. So, oh, he don't have none. He said, the document he is not having simply mean he is not having the truth. He's a liar. Now, you know, only Roa HaKodesh now went ahead and minister and told me that. Uh, how is Joseph Slema arresting people? Because they're calling for him for me to come and arrest me. How is he arresting people? He now said through miracles, through devilish miracles. When you believe in these destructive miracles, poor sir, you enter prison spiritually. You will go back to that graveyard. Joseph Slema was the police they called. And look at it today. This vision I saw it. How? Is it about more than eight years ago? But I narrated it four years ago. And look at we now today. Where are we? Just listen. He's arresting people because we speak against a miracle, satanic miracle he wanted to use to enslave people. But it's this us, you know. 
enslaving people that believe in that nonsense. You will return back. In fact, your chain will be more double, 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 double chain. Because anytime he do that nonsense miracle, because he said that miracle is what he is using to arrest people. This can I show the data again? I will reshare, I will share it again. You can also go to what my page. See, they did not you put us in the grave, you they see? also chain us. You see? As I was crying, calling you the red name you the head were here for rescue. Yeah. I was calling I the name of I was just rolling like a rolling lion. I was so restless. You see the date? I want to go home. I want to come out of this grave yes. I refuse grave to be my home. You see, that is what I want. Before you knew that chains begin to break off. Yeah, so I narrated it briefly already because it's a bit long over here. Alright, then let's put in scriptures. Now let's do why we're here today. The Jesus, you know, food Justice Lisses is eating. In order for you to understand very much well uh the food of Jezebel, first of all, let's do let us do the food of Abba Yahuwah. Okay, in order for you to have this, you know, better understanding what the food of Jezebel is all about. Hmm? Of which that is what Justice Lee says is used use it to feed the congregation. Alright, now here we are Luke chapter four, verses three through seven and the devil said unto him if thou be the son of Yehovah, command this stone that it be made bread and Yehoshua answered him saying it is written that man shall not live by bread only but by every word of Yehovah. you can he quoted this from uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8 you're gonna see it over there okay now you see what did the devil says if he questioned the authority of Abbe Yehu, if you are the son of Yehu, if you are now when he want to pass in food or he want to bring about his own food, hmm, then he's gonna question that of Abbe Yehua. If you are okay, now turn the stone into what food bread. Then what did the reply of the Messiah? Messiah now replied him and said, For it is written. Man shall not live by this early food only. Now, if we have early food, so we also have spiritual food. So what was the spiritual food? Yahushua point you and I to every single word that proceeded from the mouth of Abiyahu. It's our spiritual food. It's going to nourish our soul. It's going to nourish our spirit. It's going to make our soul grow so beautiful. Our spirit, you know, grow so beautiful. Okay, just as your physical food give nourishment, okay, to your physical body, like manna, the royal law, which is the word of Abba Yehuah, is going to nourish every vein in us. It's going to make us grow wonderfully and beautiful, beautiful, without no defect. Now, you have, are you get, did you understand? You get a clue? So let's proceed. And verses 4. And Yahushua answered, said, answered him, say, It is written that man shall not live by bread only. Well, our physical food, body needs food. In like man, your spirit being needs food. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahuwah 5. Now, and the devil taking him up into high mountain, showed him, uh, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of a time. In the moment of time that the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. Who gave it unto him? Remember, this is the second Adam. The first Adam gave it away by what? By food. For that is delivered unto me, and to whom? So ever I will I give it. If thou, there's another E first, the population. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be what? Done. So, what is food? To worship deity. What is food? Now he's feeding Yahushua. As he's pouring out his whole mind, that is what I desire from you. If you would do it for me, I'm going to offer you the whole word. Justice Sule says has already gained the whole word. He's even proud and bragged about three private jets. Come on now, listen. What was another food? To worship him. If you will fall down and worship me. What is he saying? Fall like I fall. Worship me like I desire to worship myself. If you will do only this one for me, 
I'm going to give you the whole world. The reward from you eating my food. The reward from you listening to my teaching. The reward from you, you taking my word as a daughter into your spirit, soul, and body. Therefore, it is me giving you the whole world. The whole world is going to be yours. Are you going to eat my food? Are you going to die with me? Yeah, I should have said, no, sorry, I won't do that. Uh -uh. Worship. Do about Yehovah only. So, but now you get a clue. In order for you to understand that of justice, let's, let's, let's go another one. Now, we return back to where everything begins. Bereshit. Mm -hmm. But it's known as Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 through 7. You can also read it all. It's all about it is something. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the feet, which Yehovah Elohim had made. And he said unto the woman, the feet over there is speaking of the whole world. Okay, You can get that uh, understanding from Matthew chapter 13. The feet represent the world. Okay. And listen now, or should I take it? And now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the feet, which Yehovah Elohim had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath Yehovah said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. He also questioned when he wanted to feed the first woman and the first man with his own food. He questioned the authority of Abba Yehovah. Come on now. Uh -huh. Did he say so? And did he, how did he, you know, can, can you give me some understanding? Because he's bringing another spirit. Because let me tell you. All these words that is coming out from the mind of serpent is a food. You see, all this nonsense miracle just lets us do is a food. We are coming to that, but I want to first of all wet the ground for you in order for you to get it so easily when it comes to that of a demonic food he is using to feed you people. Listen now, he questioned the authority of other you get too. And the woman said, There, problem comes. Is this the thought you are giving unto justice? Listen. Whereby you know that miracle money was so fake, so loud. Whereby you know justice lessons of the devil is satanic man. You want to give a second thought? You want to mix heaven not because you sinned. You want to mix heaven because you believe in a pastor, a prophet or apostle whom you knew to where he was false or fake. You going to hell because of that? All right now, listen. You wanna? <laughs> All right now, listen. The woman begin to you know, have a dialogue with demon, and the woman said unto the serpent, "We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. You're gonna eat death. What is he gonna use to feed them now? Uwu death." For. And the serpent said unto and the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. No, come on, now, you're not gonna die. For Yehovah knew that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. <laughs> so you want to draw out the God in you in iniquity. Just as soon as he's drawing out the God inside of him. In a stupid, in a very stupid way, in a nonsensical way, in a shame and disgrace way. What is God? You pass out a, you know, a commandment, somebody believe it. You become that the God of that person. Let me not go too deep, you know, in mysteries. So let's take it simple. Now you want to draw out the God inside of them in a very wicked. You want to open up their third eyes. When you eat the demonic food, it go, the demonic food is going to open up your pineal gland. They call it pineal gland. The third eye, your eyes of visions. That is what they are after. You're going to be seeing demonic vision. As soon as you eat of their food, you're going to be seeing satanic vision. You're going to be seeing demonic. You're going to be seeing link of fire as heavy. You can never see what is bad as bad. You're going to be seeing bad now as good. Why? Because you have ate of satanic food. And that is the garbage justice listeners use it to feel you that believe in that crap, that nonsense. Was that not too loud? How can you say AJ came and paid 2,000 naira? Listen and look at one thing. Now AJ came. 
a deposit, one, uh, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand to be. It was so so much easy, even for Angel to use a POS. It was so easy for Angel to even get the bank account details of people begin to put in money. It was so easy, but when it now come to the you know arresting of people or uh, Israel Balogun, the Angel couldn't go and arrest Israel Balogun. It was so difficult for him to do. But you can come. The angel just throw himself into uh, 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 the, 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 the human affair and interrupt us. But he could have gone and arrest. Since you can't put money, you can't break our rules here on earth. Why didn't you also break the rules of the authority and arrest Israel Balogun by yourself? Do you see how twisted Justice Lessons has become? Do you see how twisted this guy has become that he lied too much he told the white world lies the whole was it this one was so large let's take it you know put some up six and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto a husband with her, and he did eat, and the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sew free tree, uh, leaves together and made a prayer for themselves. They now begin, they want to make deliverance for themselves, they want to make a way out for themselves, they want to cover them sh their shame. You cover your reproductive organ, worry about your back, every other part is still exposed. Come on, I will see the nakedness. Sir. Just slim out, tell you lie upon lie, did one wicked, they want to use another one to cover it. We've seen it already. It's, it's, you can't cover it. Now, when Sepher want to bring about new wisdom, he go by food. Okay? He fed them. What was the food destruction? What was the food separation? What was the food link of fire? What was the food suffering? Poverty and all. This is where we first of all ate those things, pains we are eating, we are seeing today. It's what we want, you know, first of all, take that into our spirit. And we know how painful that is. And unfortunately, that, unfortunately, that is what the listeners is still pouring on you. That is what is still pouring on you. If you believe that nonsense, he is calling miracle. Let me tell you, in every single lies, the implication, that's what we are digging out. In any lie you believe, the, 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 the repercussion, that's what we are digging out. You believe in the nonsensical of justice lessons, you are at death, not just first death. Now, it could land you in link of fire, second death. Because we see death came as a food, we take that junk into our spirit. Suffering came as a food, separation came as a food, eternal link of fire came as a food. We ate, but the food of family was well, gonna, you know, is gonna. Purge away every satanic food you ate. But just listen at Jezebel's table. Mm? Bringing about new wisdom. We have never, what is Justice Lesser's new wisdom? You said it just, you know, interrupts the, uh, the human's affair in a very satanic way. No, that is another wisdom from the same pet. You said angel pay money to people's account. No, that is a lie. You said angel, you know, your God teleported somebody from one toilet into another toilet. That is another ideology of serpent. That is the new wisdom found the serpent. That is it. That is the ours. But it's a food you take into your spirit. You want to feed your spirit. That is going to kill your spirit. It's going to press your spirit down. It's going to make your spirit defect. You can never grow. Rather, it will end you in the link of fire. Let me show you another food. Matthew chapter 26, verses 29. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day, that day, which is these days we are, until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. What is he drinking with us? What? Let me tell you, what is he drinking with us? It is the fellowship. The Holy Communion, the Word, the Bible, the very mind of Yehovah. So I will, I'm not gonna the way I take it like this with you. No, I'm not. I'm gonna that this one is coming to an end. That now I'm gonna be taking it with you in my Father's kingdom, like what I'm doing now. 
He is taking it with me in this Father's kingdom. I can't see him, but he's over here. Okay? He is teaching me, speaking through me. This is how he's taking it with us. In this for this kingdom. Now when you also read 1 Corinthians chapter 11, I think verses 24 through 33, you're going to see it over the Holy Communion. He said it's the body of Mashiach and the blood is, the, 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 the wine is his blood. That is what we also took, took over here. Yehua's Supper or Adonai's Supper. Okay. Now what is the blood and what is the body? The book is the body. First John chapter first John chapter four so make it so clear that the word of Abba became flesh. Now you will see that again, John chapter one verses twenty verses fourteen. So the word of Abba became flesh and now dwell among us. And Yahushua said, he said, he said, I said you eat my flesh and you drink my blood. There is no life in you. There is no eternal life in you. What is this body? It is the old testament. And what is this blood? It is the New Testament. We see Hebrew chapter 10 verses 1 said, The law is the shadow of the better one to come. You are your shadow. Your shadow is you. But your shadow is not clear. But the real you is clear. The Old Testament is not clear. The New Testament amplified the Old Testament. And the only body, it is not clear until the blood that consummated all. It said, this is my blood that is being poured out for the remission of sin without the shedding of the blood. There will not be a way out for sin. So you drink it. He said, I'm going to be doing it anew with you. So now you know what the food is already. Hmm? Let's step up some more. Hebrews chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. For when, for when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be uh, the first principles of the oracles of Jehovah, and are uh, become such as have a need of milk, and not strong food and uh, meat. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a baby. 14. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their uh, senses exercised to the sign both good and evil. If you indeed you, you, you grow out from meat for the uh, for Yahweh's love the word, and he gave his only begotten. So if you draw that, because that one Bobala can quote it. And go into the spirituality, which is the meat, and goes into visions and revelation to know the power of the cross, to know the power of Him who made you. If we you say you're going to be having that designing spirit, okay, to you know to distinguish between good and evil, you will be able to tell this one is the food of the devil. I will not eat it, but this one is the good one that is going to lead me into eternity. So you will know what to do. You will know what not to do. You will know what, what to take into your spirit. And you will know what you ought, what ought or what you ought not to take into your spirit. Because now you are a full grown up person. Now you have the power of visions and revelation. You know whom you said. You are not just a baby believer. But now you know who you are. First Corinthians chapter 3 verses 2. I have filled you with milk and not with meat. For year unto year we are not able to bear it, neither yet are now ready, neither are yet now are ye able. So meat means strong food, visions and revelations. And we also see a lot of disciples we are not out when Yahushua said you must eat my body and you must drink my blood. They say, uh uh, this guy is teaching Kadibanis. Who is going to handle this? They couldn't get that strong meat. All of them deviated. But they couldn't break it down and know that his body is the Old Testament. You must blend it. And his blood is the New Testament. You must take the both together. You must. They say, or oh, else, no life in you. Let's take put some more. Now, this is the table of Yehovah. Let's go. We are, when we are done with this, we go to Jezebel. Stable where Joseph Lima, you know, became the chairman, the general overseer of all. First Corinthians chapter 10, verses 19. I think, I think through 21 or so. I read now. 
What say I then, that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to Yahuwah. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. When you take it teachings of satanic people, you are having a divine fellowship. It is a, if it is holy, com, it is communion, not holy. Okay, you are just on the table at the table at the table of Jezebel 21. You cannot drink the cup of Yahuwah and the cup of devils. You cannot be a partakers of the Yahuwah's table and of the table of devils. Now, 22, do we provoke Yahuwah to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? So whenever you sat at the table of Jezebel, you are provoking Yehuas into jealousy. That is going to bring about judgment. Watch out what is going to follow now on Justice Lema's case. I bet you are going to use Justice Lema. He's, he's the Azazel God, like I said. He's the scapegoat. We'll come into that. He's going to use Justice Lema to teach the word that I judge the heart. Every secret of Justice Lema is going to be unfolded. You wait and see. It started shaking already. Yes. Now, the table where Justice Lima be crowned as the general overseer of Jezebel. First Kings chapter 19. Take you from 19 through 29. Now therefore said, now therefore send and gather to me all Yisrael unto Mat Kamel and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of groves, 400, which eat at Jezebel's what? Table. So, what were they doing? No room to read all. So, let's quickly rush that to what were they doing? What, 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 what were they doing? Right at Jezebel's table, listen. They were taking visions. They were eating spiritual food, visions. Jezebel's were giving them teaching, guiding, guidance. How they need to teach the people, how they need to deceive the people, how they, they need to mislead the people, how all these false prophet needs to lead the people into destruction. How they, they, all these prophet, how they need to become a stumbling, stumbling block on the way of salvation that is sh they shouldn't allow the people to ever return back to the way actually we set for there by Abba Yehovah. These are Jezebel's prophets. Matt Camel. Here who are a man is gonna be slain. 26. And then they took the bullock. Okay, now we are testing power. Okay, yes. So he says, and they took the bullock which we are giving unto them, which was given unto them. They dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning even until uh, noon. Say, Oh, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made, and they now begin to shed their blood. It is blood shed. Okay, the prophet of Yahweh begin to mock them. But quick, let's go to 29. And it came to pass. When midday we, uh, was passed, uh, passed, and they prophesied, this is the food down, and they prophesied until the time of the e uh, offering of the evening sacrifice that there was, there was neither voice nor any to answer, nor they, nor any that regarded. The God of Christians bow up here. Christian pray, they are the highest prayer warrior on this planet. For their God is daft. He can't hear prayer. Now they not begin to profess until when the evening sacrifice. Evening sacrifice belongs to us. Now, you see, they are still prophesying nonsense. Just Slema is professor all kinds of demonic prophecy which is not even coming to pass. But they still keep on prophesying. Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23. We profess. We do many great wonders. We cast out devils. The biblical Messiah now said, No, I never knew you. You ate just best food. I never knew you. So, uh, what, what was that? Uh, Genesis chapter 4 said, Adam knew his wife and she took in seed. Yahushua said, I never knew you. Which means someone else knew you and deposited those evil prophecies in your womb. The very one you begin to pour out upon the people. 
how many failed prophecies of Justice Lee says. This is their food. Jezebel's food. You put that into your, your body. Now we have it here. Revelation 2, 20 through 24. Nevertheless, or notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest, sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servant to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Joshua says, you have a sense with all things of women, it is to reformat his power. Now, this is what is also pouring upon people. We hear the, we heard this testimony from a, a, his uh, pastor, one of his pastors, David, David Mike, or Mike Davids, that said all of them always, you know, fornicate. He it says it's a normal thing over there with, uh, in the, with, among just his lesser pastor because their papa is doing it. It's all of them always go into sexual immorality. He says it's, it's normal. Okay, now that is what they do. So, what is going on here? When you read, keep on reading, he said, I'm going to kill all our children. Anyone that commit adultery with Jezebel, I'm going to kill. The penalty is death. Remember when judgment also came where we just came from, First Kings chapter 80? All 850 prophets of Baopio were slain. It is time to kill. It is time for Yehuwah to release judgment of destruction upon justice. He says, and his kind, Yehuwah's mighty name. Now you must produce the angel. Now I, I, I quickly want to put it. So we don't have any angels called uh, Nelsie or uh, Damian Nelsie. No, we don't have such angel. I will redo this message again. Okay. It's a message of all time. Okay. I will redo it again. It's about the first prophet, which is just his places. Now we don't have angel also called uh, Darling to Beauty. No, we don't have that nonsense. Okay. We don't. So you must give us that angel. If you are sure of who you are, uh, produce that angel. Now, Judges chapter 13, you can go and read it. When Angel came unto the wife of Manoah, her husband wasn't there. She looked get got instruction from that angel. Okay, but he came unto him as a mother. You know, when Angel is coming into this early domain, they will put on human flesh. They don't just interrupt our early system. No, they will also buy into the idea, buy into the system. Okay, they will act as like one of us. Okay, now he came as a man. So what happened if after he has passed message unto uh, the woman about the birth of Samson? So that one, uh, the angel that left. So that one, I told her husband, this the man of your one that I saw today. He looks like angel. He describes him. Then what Manoah did, her husband, I pray, I beg you, please send me that man again. And the man returned back again. And I now proved to them that I am the angel of Yehovah. This is the one we have over here, okay? You must give us that proof. Huh? You must. Now, Daniel chapter 9, verses 21. Again, we also see the angel Havre, whom you call Gabriel. Daniel now said, The angel I once saw, that could be Daniel chapter 7. He said, The man Gabriel I once saw in my vision. Okay, he saw him again. Now, Luke chapter 1, also read it. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the first, um, the angel first of all came. He said, uh, he introduced himself. He said, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of Yehovah. And now he did not introduce himself. He must come back and introduce himself to us. That little did he introduce himself. He must come back and introduce himself to us. Because angel will have always introduced themselves. And Gabriel said, I stood in the presence of Yehovah. Uh, first, uh, first month of the year, he came unto... Uh, uh, okay, no, at the time of a Passover, he came to Elizabeth. Now, um, at the time of the feast, six months later, he came to Maria. He came again. Six months later, he returned back again. He came again. And he also speak to Maria and say, go and confirm this from Elizabeth. I once came to, to her. Now it is your turn. Justice, listen, you must send that angel again unto us, okay? If not, you will never know what is what is peace. So you can take this Luke chapter 1, verses 8 through 44. You're going to see it over there. Now, um, Exodus chapter 16, we see how angel of Yehovah uh, uh, brings manna unto us. He did not do it just one day. 40 whole years. 
40 whole years. Just listen. If you want to, you know, practice what is in the royal law, this is what you should have been doing. Goes to Benin Ring Road, beggar. Goes to Lagos, beggar everywhere. People are homeless. People have no food to eat. Children, all the, all the, almost all the men of, uh, you know, boys in our land became Yahoo, Yahoo. There is no job, nothing to do. All of them, they, they became thieves, stealing, you know, okay? But you couldn't do no manner for them. Now, the prophet of Yahweh did manna uh, for the children of uh, Yahuwah 40 whole years in the wilderness. Every day, every day for a whole 40 years. Go to Lagos and see how people are suffering. Go to Ring Road and see how people are homeless and no food to eat. And you couldn't go and do this manner. This is what you should have been doing. No, you cannot go here. Because this one, from eternity to eternity, is going to break your neck. Now, we also see the prophet of Yehovah, Yahushua HaMashiach, our Messiah, Matthew chapter 14, verses 13 through 21. Also repeat that same manner again. He multiplied a bread. He used it to feed 5,000 souls. 5,000 men beside the women. And the children, they were so uncountable. And 12 baskets was still left. He said, why they were in wilderness? Nigeria is a wilderness. We see today, Nigeria is, is the capital city, is the, is the capital city of poverty of the whole world. Nigeria is wilderness. Confirmed wilderness. Confirmed wilderness. That is why nothing work. No job. No running water, no roads, no light, no job opportunity. Nothing work in that country. No security. Not it's a total wilderness. Therefore, now that we are in the wilderness, Joseph says, "Come on and produce manna." Yahushua also did it again. Said they are in wilderness. I can send them away. I have compassion on them. They might collapse on the way. A uh, dog boys is collapsing in Yahoo Yahoo. A uh, dog boys children they are collapsing in wickedness uh, because no uh, job opportunity. Mama survive. They are enter Yahoo Yahoo. Your sister, listen, you are not having compassion upon the youth to do miracle. Mana job opportunity. Robo si kayaba. You are a goner, eh? You must produce this angel again. Tell that angel to return back again. To go and pay Nigeria debt, almost forty, almost forty trillion naira. Tell the 